Welcome back in at 640 right now. Today is the first day of another Baltimore ceasefire weekend, the second of four that will be held this year. And there's been a spike in violent crime in Baltimore City recently with Governor Hogan making critical comments about the mayor and the police commissioner and then the mayor firing back. Now they're planning to meet in person. Devin Mayor Tunis, Aaron McPherson is live this morning at City Hall with the details on that. Aaron. Good morning, Christian. Well, the governor has invited Mayor Brandon Scott to come to the state house next week on Thursday to discuss the crime in the city. He also invited the Baltimore Police Commissioner. Now Hogan says he wants to talk with them, hear from them about their current crime plan, and he wants to help them and provide resources they need after already giving $1.3 billion into Baltimore City for public safety. So far this year, Baltimore City has recorded 108 murders, a dozen more than this time last year. Year. Now, the city state's attorney, Marilyn Mosby, also plans on meeting with the governor, but no date has been scheduled for that yet. It's just been confirmed that they are going to meet. And earlier this week, things got pretty heated with the governor, Mosby, and the mayor in regard to the violence. The governor is saying the city needs to do a better job focusing on crime and come up with a real plan. He said he was disappointed in the city's effort. He says the city needs a prosecutor willing to prosecute, calling out Mosby, and he called out the mayor as well, saying we need to invest in police but stressed the mayor wants to defund them. Now, Scott responded, saying these suggestions were MAGA talking points. He then brought up meeting to discuss the problems, something he said he's asked for before, and now that meeting is finally happening. I'm extremely excited that the mayor and governor are going to sit down and have a conversation. Um, Baltimore needs it because when there are things that need to be healed, when decisions being made, when it's crucial that those decisions really work for everyone, a collaborative process is the best way to go. Erica Bridgeford is the co-founder of Baltimore Ceasefire. She believes we're on a path to stabilizing things in the city, saying we didn't get into this overnight and we're not going to get out of it overnight. Now, the Baltimore Ceasefire weekend starts today, ending on Sunday. Now, they are kicking off with a virtual event on the Baltimore Ceasefire Facebook page at 9 o'clock this morning. And the whole weekend is about promoting peace and celebrating life. Live here at City Hall, Aaron McPherson, WM.